life. Courage. And it is just appropriate that I begin my speech today with that word because of two important reasons. One, there can never be resilience in the face of adversity. And without courage, I wouldn't be here today. Maybe some, already, some of you already know that I was supposed to be the speaker of the graduation of your university for the entire day. But I was informed last night that some powerful forces threatened your university, that you wouldn't be able to use this venue if I would be the guest speaker. It was less than 24 hours when they made that threat. And throughout the day, they keep on threatening your university that they would turn off the sound system and then they would ask everybody out if I would continue to speak. So may I ask everyone to give your university a big round of applause. Because it has shown what resilience is in action. So may I continue without the mic being turned off? <clears throat> Looking back, the end of every decade of my existence has been marked by great changes that carried my life into a new chapter. I have always believed that things happen out of necessity, steered by the invisible hands of fate. At 19, I started to become a transgender activist. At 29, I uprooted myself from the Philippines and moved to the Netherlands and began my study in international relations oh. and law at Leiden oh. University College. Oh. And as I turned 39 last year, I want to thank you. What's common in each of these turning points is that they were preceded and aided by experiences of great love and brushed with death, figurative or metaphorical. At 18, I committed suicide by her. As my body was feeling numb and cold, my arms popping, making me hear a very high-pitched sound, akin to the sound of a flatline. A force radiating from within me made me struggle out of it. After I successfully got myself out, of the bedsheet laced with wires. I heard a voice emanating from within me. Use your life to make a difference in someone's childhood. I don't know where that voice came from. Maybe it's from God, from my ancestors, from my higher self, from whatever of, of him, whomever. That voice perhaps is what Martha Graham once called a blessed unrest that keeps us marching and makes us more alive than others. That voice kept that voice kept me going on. And I and that voice became my motivation to keep on striving. And whenever I feel giving up, I am reminded of that moment. When my mother asked me to choose at the age of 18 between staying and leaving her nest. I, cho I chose the romantic choice over the practical one. Staying meant everything would be provided to me, but I had to live as a guy. Living meant living as a girl. And I think everyone know what happened. I am here in front of you.
as a testament I am here in front of you as a testament that you can triumph over any adversities in your life because you are a wonderful human being because inside of you is an unrelenting courage that would stand up to anyone the path ahead of you might be so overwhelming that it paralyzes you that's why you must approach your life as if it's such a game that you play take your time to learn the rules then skillfully break them so you could have the breakthrough that the dream that lives inside you needs in order for it to forget the fetters of your self-doubt as you look at your diploma today please remind yourself that you are not that that piece of paper is a milestone as you look at your diploma today i would like to look i would like i would you i would like you to look at it not just a piece of paper but it is a testament of the hard work of your parents the patience of your teachers and your endless journey to being and becoming sir you would have to drop me out of this if you would like me out but just we are supporting sir the, the guest people you're only renting this sir sana ganun din ang ginawa nila sa amin you're only renting this place right ganun din sir ang ginawa sa school I would like to ask po the management of CLG, please, matapusin lang natin siya, and then we will continue po the proper um, uh, program for this um, graduation. We have 970 students in commencement exercises. Hindi po pwede namin hayaan yung mga magulang na nasa likod at mga batang ito na hindi matapos sa kanilang graduation rights. graduation nila, kailangan po itong tapusin. Please, please, please po, please po, salamat po sa inyong lahat. Mahaba pa sana eh, tapusin ko. <laughs> Dear graduates, Destiny may be written in the stars, but it's what you do with starlight that turns destiny into reality. You are made of stars, a point in infinity, a moment in eternity inside of you is the spark of divine will. 
So live your lives. So live your lives as a monument to your souls. Always say a prayer of gratitude. Be in love with light and life. Today is just another chapter of your love story with life. And what will keep you living through the next chapters of your life is courage. Maraming salamat po. Ngayon po, um, sit down children. Ngayon po, hindi ko alam kung matutuloy pa in the rest of the program. But, excuse me po, but it's up to the COG if they were going to turn on the lights and the microphone for the rest of the ceremonies inside the commencement exercises. It's up to them. Kung hindi po, I don't know what, what to do. So, I don't know, hiltong nito na rin si Sir Clem. But still, I'll keep smiling because that's life. Mula po tayo, 